Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Today I'm actually going to be talking about um, a figure that I've been wanting to review for a while, but also I did a minor upgrade, which I think makes this figure even more worth getting. Um, I'm talking about the DC Collectibles New 52 Lex Luthor in the armor body. He did come out a, a few years ago <coughs> um, based off the New 52 design. Also, um, if you remember that trailer for DC Universe Online, he got a really good image of him. Uh, it was an awesome trailer. The video game was good too, but it's the same design, same uh, look. And um, I wanted to review it only because I felt the figure was good, good enough for me to purchase, but um, I also felt that I could upgrade it with uh, using a different Lex Luthor head, which I'll show you in a bit. But uh, he, like I, he's one of my favorite characters, and previously Lex Luthor has come out around six inch scale. This is the first time that he's come out a little bit taller, which uh, for me works out well because I um, I have this uh, vision I want to put where I have Superman either chained or down by some kryptonite and surrounding them I have Darkseid, Doomsday, which uh, just released uh, about what a year, a couple months ago, which I love. Uh, Doomsday, Darkseid, and now Lex Luthor is a much better proportion in the uniform or in the suit. So I was really happy that they came out with it. Um, I wanted to review it. I wanted to take a closer look in case some of you guys were on the fence not knowing uh, whether you wanted to get it or not. You know, with Superman uh, versus Batman still not coming out, I think, what, till next year? Um, you know, I didn't want to wait that long. I wanted to review it. It's been out. There's a lot of reviews, but I just wanted to know what you guys thought of uh, adding just a different head. It just totally makes it look a lot better. Uh, so without further review, let's get a closer look at uh, the new 52 DC Collectibles Lex Luthor. Here's a quick look at the packaging for the 52, the new 52 Lex Luthor. Pretty uh, self-explanatory, all white, nice open packaging so you can see the figure. Over here on the side, they give you a little bit closer of view, which I like. You can see all the detailing and the paint and, and sculpting. Tells you that he's about eight and a half inches high in height. Uh, the designer for this one is Tony Daniel. Uh, it's based on his does design, which I really like Tony Daniel as an artist. Over here, it shows you a little uh, of some of the other figures you could get in the line. Out of all these, I really thought Black Manta came out really cool. The way his weapons hold in the back, really like that. Here's a closer image, and this is um, pretty much where I want to be talking about the upgrade. Gives you a really nice close image of his face. And in my opinion, a lot of other people's opinions, this Lex Luthor just didn't seem right. His, his head sculpt looked younger. Looked a little arrogant, which he is, but in the wrong way. I uh, will get that. We'll get a little more into that when I show you the actual piece and what I upgraded in him. Over here on the side, nice little outline. I actually like this picture. I might cut it out. I'm not probably going to keep this box. I just thought it looked kind of cool. So without further ado, uh, let's get into Lex Luthor and take a closer look at him. So when it comes to the height for Lex Luthor, um, he's actually standing roughly about nine and a half, a little under nine and a half inches when you come to uh, the wingspan. His head, I'd say about nine inches. So they were actually uh, a little off when they approximately said eight, eight point five inches on the box, which is fine by me. The overall aesthetic of the figure is very nice. I love the. The suit, the darker tone green they use with the darker tone purple, it works for me. Uh, the only thing I had a problem with, let me bring it a little closer, is the actual head. Um, it's a little small for the suit. It's very young for me when it comes to Lex Luthor. It's just, he has this little smirk on his face that I just didn't like. Um, that was the only problem I kind of had with that figure. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because... To solve that problem, I decided to grab this Lex Luthor, which is um, from the DC uh, Superheroes line, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's a Superheroes line. It's not, if not, it's an early DC Universe line. And um, the sculpt for him was just older, more mean, more menacing. I, I want to say a little bigger. So what I did is I, um, and I like that kryptonite thing he came with. I thought it was kind of cool. What I did is I actually purchased him online. I found him for like maybe seven bucks and I just popped off the head. And that's basically what I did is I swapped the heads to give this guy a better look. Now the suit is uh, the same style of suit. I just love the upgrade. The fact that they made him bigger. Uh, just overall a much better um much better version of him. I kind of wish they would have gave him the gun still. I, th I think this gun is a pretty cool gun, even for its time. Um, 
but overall i'm happy with this version so let's give a let me show you a quick swap out of the head basically i just ran his head underwater uh on the other one i bought and i flipped them let me uh give you a closer look on that real quick so here's a good look uh what i did is i popped out the head from here um it was a little difficult i ran it under hot water i didn't damage it anyway um and um as you could see i popped out his head too from the old figure and it fits very very well it looks pretty good it is a little bigger makes them a little more older and more distinguished which i like you come around to the back look at the back it fit really nice really clean in there um it, it's snug and very tight in case anyone's scared i get a little bit of movement it's not it's just loose enough you didn't really get much articulation with the other head so with this one i'm fine also it does come with the mask and if you guys were worried it does fit right on there really cool and what i do is i just kind of take it off uh, see if it's and then i just have it up there just like that so that's that's my minor upgrade for lex um i have seen this done before you know i'm not the first i won't be the last uh, like uh, richie's brother says in la bamba but um that's a quick upgrade which i'm really happy with i think it adds a lot to the figure and i like it and um i would recommend it unless you're a fan of the uh, the younger Lex, which I'm not, you know, I, I mean, this did have the side, which I thought was cool, but um, I could live without that, especially when I'm getting that figure. So that's, that's well, well, much of an upgrade for me. I really like that version better. So I'll stick with that one. As far as the rest of the figure goes, um, really well detailed, really well sculpted. Um, I did take off the wing. One more minor issue I have is the wingspan. It kind of doesn't clip or snap. It just kind of hugs right there on the back, which is fine. This connects into his arm. The only thing is um, it falls off. It looks cool, but it just falls off rather easy. I'm still thinking about whether I want to super glue it. It's just a little level right there, and it just hangs on like so. I'm not sure. I do like it with it, though. It looks, adds a lot of dimension and stuff, but for now i'll leave that off to the side as far as the detailing goes really well sculpted um if you look close it has some dents some uh, in his armor some chipping thought that was really cool even down here shows this uh i guess utility belt um you know it's not basically they gave it a duller version a more adult version but uh, as far as color scheme goes but i like it i like that it's uh you know beat up and used and you know lex you know nice little chip right there in the leg i just like that they didn't they didn't skip on the detailing or the painting even though it's only an average of what three or four colors at most uh, they give it a lot of nice shading gave them some wear and tear which i like um, the body overall is really really well done and i definitely like it when it comes to sculpting um you know what his arms come about that high they do do the 360 he has I want to say maybe a, a 45 degree, if that uh, angle on the elbow, his hands, they do go in and out a little bit, down and up, not much. There is a, a significant ab crunch though, so that's kind of cool. Let's see if it goes back. He goes back pretty well. Legs come out about that far, come out about that wide. He does have one elbow joint. He does have... Uh, ankle joint he doesn't have a pivot though which he is uh this particular figure could use he does have if i no, nope, that's about it i thought he might have had a toe joint but no so the articulation is <laughs> excuse me the articulation in it isn't the greatest but it isn't horrible um for this figure he's more like a statue-esque figure for me anyways so i don't need him totally um being i mean yeah i would like it if he was much more articulated but it's the sculpt is great uh the upgrade on the face that i did makes me very happy with the overall look and it's definitely one that if you're a lex luthor or superman fan you definitely need to have when it comes to articulation they just give you enough where you should be fine overall i definitely rate this figure at about an eight eight and a half um i can't rate it a little higher than that just simply because of the articulation uh, in this day and age, you know, I like I said, it's definitely fine. But if they wanted to put a little more, I know they could have. When it comes to articulation, 
but um and not to mention that i wasn't too happy with the head but i swapped it out uh which any of you guys could do real simple uh fyi just running under hot water really good both uh figures that you're gonna swap the head it makes it a lot easier um yeah but i definitely have to recommend the figure i love it it's gonna go great with my doomsday and my uh dark side or surrounding superman i just think I, i'm glad because now this version of lex luther and his suit actually make some unequal in my opinion you know he's he's his greatest ad adversary for a reason because he's super smart uh i really like this figure the kryptonite actually even holds better in his hand than it did in the superheroes um lex luther version but i definitely gotta recommend it if you don't have it if you do i hope you're enjoying it as much as i am because this figure is awesome that's all for today uh please leave your comments and likes at the bottom for everything remix reviews don't forget visit us at www.comicsremix.com and we'll see you next time peace i cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash